Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Bastion. This is a game I've had for a very long time, like, like at least two years, I think. And I've played a decent amount of it, but I've actually never beaten it. So I was thinking I should finally beat it, because maybe I could Let's Play it. And then I'm just like, how about I just start over again and record it? So it's not going to be blind or anything, but that's how I'm going to do it. The only reason that I thought that I shouldn't record this is because... This game has an infamous feature known as the narrator. There is someone who will be narrating all of my actions, like everything that I do, and he talks so much that I'm just like, well, when am I gonna talk? And if I'm not gonna talk that much, how will my video be any different than any just raw gameplay footage? So that's why I didn't do it at first, but now I'm just deciding, screw it, let's see what happens. <laughs> if I don't like it, I, I guess I'll, I'll just stop it, but um, I don't know, it, it's a promising game. It has, uh, I think it has different endings, except I believe those endings are determined by, like, a choice you make right at the end, so it's not like you have to play through the entire game again. But anyway, um, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's try this out here. So we're gonna start a new story, and you got normal mode and no sweat mode. <laughs> Which means you just have, like, unlimited lives, I guess. But we're gonna do normal mode. Are you sure you want to start? Now, I, I do. I don't like that it doesn't have multiple save states. That's I, I really don't like it when games do that. But what are you gonna do? Proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. I am trying to record this in HD. It looks like it's chugging a tiny bit, but I think I can deal with it. Ground forms up under his feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. My best friend's a hammer. We got that, then we got evade. He sees what's left of the rippling walls, years of work undone in an instant, in the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Missed. Not gonna miss that time. Kid pops him good. Fella got a piece of him, though. Now, if you don't get hit there, he doesn't say fellow got a piece of them, though. Like, he actually does change what he says based on what you do. Which is a pretty cool feature, I think. He's looking for items. Most, I think that blue stuff is money, if I remember correctly. Uh, and the environment does spring up around you. Is that a box? Kid just rages for a while. <laughs> So that because I just started smashing everything. I don't know, I think it's a really cool feature, the announcer. Just because it makes you, it really makes you feel like it's a story about what you're doing. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. So, you have infinite ammo, but you do need to reload. If you look on the side, you can see that my bullets decrease when I fire it. Yeah. So we got melee and we got long range. Oh, whoa, don't fall off the edge. You can fall off the edge. She's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. And you notice I have under the, uh, it says like, oh, A school no, of squirts no. tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. There we go. Um, I have different, I can heal myself three times because I filled up three bottles of, uh, stuff from the fountain. That's under my health bar to the left. Crystal, what is this? Kid finds a memento from a girl he knew. Always use the fancier. Let's see. How do I... What did it say? There we go. Crystal Barrette. A memento. A fashion accessory covered in soot. 
holds great value of a sentimental variety. Also holds hair firmly in check. Best hang on to it just in case. Then we got a city crest, a memento, an identification badge from the old days. All those on official business to the city. All right, so you find out like gradually about what's happening through through items and artifacts and stuff like that, and through the narrator. Yeah. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Right, when injured, you can press blah blah to heal. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. As you can see, he's been turned to stone. Well, then Kid finds his trusty shield. Ooh. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Uh-oh. Now, if you're as long as you're looking the right way, you can deflect most attacks. Maybe not most attacks, but a lot of attacks. And I do mean deflect, or I guess reflect would be the uh Yeah, they can actually go back and hit the people who shot at you. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Uh oh, what is happening here? Oh god. Roll. Hut. Roll. Hee. <laughs> Smash roll. Windbags start turning up for last call. Oh dear. All right, we're just gonna go fuck wild on them. Excellent. But oh, I see you there. <laughs> if I can get the drop on me. More squirts start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops Whoa. out in front of the kid. I don't want to deal with you quite as cavalierly as the others. Whew. <laughs> wow, he's killing his own guys. Not that they're uh, in cahoots or anything, I guess. Alright, smash. I was being Kid too careful. Sees the weight of the bastion out the window. It's a bit of a drop. Well, let's heal, because that guy definitely hit me. You do take a decent amount of damage, and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave him, not smash him. I think if you smash him, the announcer will say something though. <laughs> He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. New weapon. You can only have two weapons Kid at a time, though. a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. There we are. These shots can be blocked. Now, there's two ways you can do it on the controller. You can either hold the the right uh, analog so you can still walk around like backwards and hold the shield, or you can hold the uh, right the left trigger, and then uh, well, I guess I'm wrong. Now I'm strafing. It looked like it was moving the direction that I was uh, looking before. There we go. Fire, fire, smash. All right. This isn't. Uh, there's there's definitely a little bit of slowdown. I really wanted to record this in HD. The kid pockets a memento from a breaker. Once the fastest man in the land. Yeah. Boom. This thing's a little bit weird to aim. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad uh. news is they aim it for the kid. Yeah. Yeah. Right back at you. <laughs> Damn right. Oof. Full power. Let's get these crystals. Oh, we got a healing thing. So I might as well... Like, you can only hold three, at least currently. I think you can upgrade that later, but I might as well... Oh, it uses... Alright, if you get it when you can't hold anymore, you use it automatically, I see. That's cool. Oh, is it auto-aiming? That makes things easier, I didn't even realize. Okay, that's a lot easier to aim than I thought it was. Picks up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. So now I can use, uh, you'll notice like next to my health things, there's now little black jars, and those let me use special abilities. 
So what button is that right trigger is that? Yep. He's Whirlwind. Fast learner. There we are. Taking a lot of damage. You just take a lot of damage in this game in general. <laughs> like getting hit is rough, but they offer two methods of dodging attacks, so they can afford to make it kind of brutal. Pow. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. Let's go to the arsenal. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. Um, so again, you can only use uh, two weapons and you get one special ability. Now, I only have Whirlwind, so there's no choice there. But do I want the Breaker's Bow or do I want uh, the Repeater Fang? I think I, I think I want the Repeater Fang. One sip of the spirits in that distillery and the kid will feel like a new man. So you can also equip uh, alcohol, I guess. I guess it's not necessarily all alcoholic, but it's certainly all well, sound. Yeah, <laughs> cider and rum; those are both typically alcohol. So plus ten uh, critical chance, or plus ten percent. Active only when on full health. Mer, let's instead get ten max health, considering I was getting my face uh, pounded in. There we go. I feel like a new man, apparently. Here. I hate boxes. I just want to kill them. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. I think. Yeah, these are spawn points. So, if I want them to not spawn, I had to kill them. There we are. I could probably just walk past, but I, you, there's an experience bar too that I am getting. There we are. Well, well, and you move so much faster when rolling, also. <laughs> it just behooves you to roll everywhere, just like in uh, Zelda. Whoa. I wonder if I can block his hammer. I should test that. Help to know. Yeah. An old ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. Looks like their defenses are still active. Ooh! Dip! I blocked it and it still hit me, I think. Yep, gotta be careful there. Oh, good. Alright, last stop. Hurt! There we are. <laughs> Made short work of them. Something heavy. Kid takes a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Healed. Oh Scum god. Bags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Really? What did I just do? Uh oh. Well, let's use up all my tonics on him. Bad time to run out of black tonic. <laughs> I'd say so. But, but. Oh, is it? Is it? Does it reflect? I, for a second, I thought he was reflecting the shots back at me. I better pay attention. It seems like I'm hurting him, though, right? All right, there. Get behind him. Kid Did some nice damage. Misery. Yeah, I'm right. Robs a scumbag of his last meal. Oh, he's spawning. Should have taken these out first. Oh, hello! Black Tonic! Maximum health times two? What? Oh, plus two. <laughs> That's a little bit different. Those little guys out of here. Black Tonic's full. Yeah, I really, it looks like there was Black Tonic hidden inside of those things, so I definitely should have destroyed them first. But, you know. You don't necessarily know these things. I only played this once and it was a long time ago. I do not remember most things. He finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Yeah, screw you guys. Oh, yeah. Trying to block me. 
kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. Uh, I probably shouldn't take mysterious rocks. See, that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Yep. Uh, kid just keeps running. <laughs> it's a trap, I know, but I'm getting it anyway. That insult to injury, I'm pretty sure I already had full tonics of both. Ah. Well, down oh, God. Goes. Down toward the bastion. Did I just fall to my death? Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. No, I, I somehow made it to the Bastion. I wonder if there's probably like a bonus for making it through that, but I think you only have one chance. Alright, well, that's what I get for rolling. Survive? Rolled the wrong way. See, now it's definitely chugging. Alright, come on. You can, you can do this. We can record in HD. It'll be fine. Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. Oh, snap. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. I really gotta not do that. When Each time they say X, I think the, the PlayStation control and I just roll off the edge. All I tell him is to set that core is on the monument there. Then watch. Fair enough. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Looks like the owner of that crystal barrette did not make it. Okay. And just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. So, from what you can gather here so far, there was some type of catastrophe known as the Calamity that seems to have messed up the world quite a bit. And this was set up as a safe ha haven, assuming something was going to happen, I'm guessing. But it looks like me and this old man are the only ones there. And the old man is, in fact, the one that is narrating. Let's go over here. Kid ponders what to build. Now, do I want a distillery or an arsenal is the question. Arsenals will let me change my weapons. I think I'm going to pick an arsenal. There we go. Mirror shield act available. All right, so I can buy new things here. The Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. So a lot of the abilities, maybe all of them, but I think just some of them, are tied to specific weapons. So you can't use all abilities if you change your weapon. Which is a little bit annoying because sometimes you'll find a weapon in the middle of a stage and you can't just change your ability, but it automatically changes your weapon. And then you just don't have any black tonic ability. But, you know, such is life. So this is a fang repeater skill. So that's for my uh, machine gun type thing. We got mirror shield. Uh, this automatically blocks everything without you needing to do anything, so that's very cool. And it doesn't depend on a weapon, it just works. And this is for the breaker bow. For some reason I'm unable to select this. Ah, because I don't have the weapon equipped. Uh, well, I think I'm gonna get the repeater fang ability anyway. There we go. And that'll, that'll do it. A repeater goes with a hammer better than a box of nails. Fair enough. He also has a different comment for like every combination of weapon, which is cool because there's like it's like 20 different combinations of weapons in this game. Alright. I think we I think we got those. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna try to go through the game. Uh, generally, there'll be one or two stages, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's do it. I'll see you next time. Later.